It's lean, it's green, and it's making quite the scene. It's the Fisker, and today I'm at the headquarters of Fisker Automotive in Anaheim to find out what this car is all about. Well, I love cars. Ever since I was a kid, I can remember playing with, you know, car models, etc. And I think there was a point when uh, everybody else grew up and stopped drawing cars, and I kept on drawing cars. And then, you know, you have a problem because, you know, you keep on sitting there drawing cars instead of making notes in school. This is Fisker's founder, a truly lifelong car designer. And this sexy four-door sedan, the Fisker Karma, is the world's first luxury plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. It debuted in 2008, just three years after its founder came up with the groundbreaking concept. Back in 2005, 2006, I started reading about, you know, what's going to happen in the future of cars. You know, some of the outlooks were pretty bleak. And having designed, you know, interesting cars before for Aston Martin and BMW, etc., you know, I couldn't imagine a future without cars or exciting cars. America's increasing dependency on foreign oil and even Leonardo DiCaprio's premiere at the 2007 Oscars in a Prius led Hedrick ultimately to this question. What if you could make a car, an environmental friendly car, where you don't have the sacrifice that's always associated with environmental friendly cars? And what was always associated with these cars are they don't look good, they're boring to drive, they're slow, and if it's a pure electric car, you got what we call range anxiety. Fretting about remembering to plug in your electric car or making it to the next charge station, that's range anxiety, and it comes with using just electric cars. But back in 2005, Hendrick and his business partner found a technology pioneered by the U.S. military that would take range anxiety out of the equation. The way we eliminated was really mainly, f first of all, through the drivetrain, because you have the electric, which is about 50 miles, and then you've got a range extender, which means a gasoline then turns on and now creates electricity while you're driving. So you don't need to be worried that there's no more electricity. And when you run out of gas, you can either fill it up the car and keep on going, or you can recharge it. The Fisker Karma has a range of 300 miles, thanks to the electric and gasoline sources, 400 horsepower, and a design that turns heads. And everything is unique about this car, whether it's the interior, uh, which you can see doesn't have a normal gear shift. It's basically uh, four buttons here. Buttons, yeah. uh, it's a drive, neutral, yeah. reverse, and park. We also got this uh, amazing solar roof yeah. here, which is the world's largest. Look how long it is. And this will, this will give you more than a couple hundred miles free a year, depending on how good the weather is, obviously. But all you really need is light. America is still the country where dreams can come true and where you can make something extraordinary that mostly in any other part of the world people wouldn't believe in. I personally don't think I could have raised a billion dollars anywhere else in the world than here in the U.S. With 15,000 Fisker Karmas hitting the road in 2011, Fisker seems to have a simple answer to a simple question. Everybody thinking about what can I do, but the question is how much can, do people want to sacrifice to help? And in the case of the Karma, if you can afford a $100,000 car, you really don't have to sacrifice. You yeah. just have to do it. 